last <coughs> video we had seen the three wire two wire and one wire communication between transmitter and receiver for time division multiplexing we have understood that what is the importance of three wire communication two wire communication one wire communication we have also seen through simulation that how we multiplex four different signals through time division multiplexing and how they share the time slot for their independent channels now let us do <coughs> this experiment of say three wire communication to understand time division multiplexing between transmitter and receiver in real time with some experiment so we had seen in that video that there were four channels having four different signals so let me connect the four different signals so this is a 500 hertz signal so first let us see what the signals are so this is a 500 signal 500 hertz signal so this is a 500 signal sine wave this is 1 kilohertz signal this is two this is a two kilohertz signal and this is four kilohertz signal so these are the four different signals which indicates four different channels which we are going to multiplex so definitely i will have to connect these channels <coughs> to a multiplexer switch which is nothing but it's a mechanical switch which is rotating symbolically it is represented here so i'm just connecting this one to channel 1 the second channel let's connect to the second point of your mechanical switch the third signal so this is the channel 3 signal and then let's connect channel 4 <coughs> so this way we have connected channel 1 signal channel 2 which is a 1 kilohertz 2 kilohertz sine wave and the 4 kilohertz sine wave now this is a mechanical switch in your first video of sampling and reconstruction we have seen that sampling the different sampling frequencies are coming and this is mechanically it is been represented as a switch so definitely this switch is rotating and i am getting the i am going to get the multiplexed signal at this point so let's see so this is the multiplexed signal unity gain amplifier and say this is the multiplex signal so this you can see that this is the multiplex signal of channel 1 2 3 and 4 now if we wish to check whether this is a multiplex signal of these four channels so what we can do we have seen during our first video that if i change this amplitude of any of this particular signal the respective samples into this multiplex data that amp samples amplitude will also change so let me change the channel 1 amplitude so i am decreasing so you can see that only channel 1 samples are going down if i change channel 2 we can see that channel 2 samples are changing if i change the channel 3 amplitude then you can see that in multiplex signal only channel 3 samples are varying so this is multiplex data of these four channels now we understood that between transmitter and receiver two mechanical switches are rotating to have a hundred percent communication we must connect the samples so let's connect the multiplex data so this is my communication channel so this is carrying the data then second we have seen that both switch should rotate with the same speed that means in terms of electronics they should have the same clock so this is the transmitter clock so we are sending the transmitter clock to the receiver so this is another wire another connection and the third wire that is three wire communication both switch should rotate with the same speed so i am having the same clock but they should be also synchronized so let's connect the synchronization pulse from transmitter to receiver so we can see easily 
there are three wire connection between transmitter and receiver this is my transmitter multiplexer this is my receiver which is a demultiplexer so we are connecting sync we are connecting clock between transmitter and receiver and we are connecting the data so basically this is what we are having a three wire communication between transmitter and receiver which is the simplest way of establishing a connection between transmitter and receiver through time division multiplexing technique now this multiplex data is coming at this point this is what we are having this is a clock so this is a clock signal which is nothing but the rotations rotatory speed of my mechanical switch or we can electronically we call it as a clock we can see that this is a sink so which is exactly division 4 of this clock you can see that these are the four clocks and i am getting every fourth clock i am getting a sink so that is a sink pulse now this is a demultiplexer so channel 1 samples are to be delivered at channel 1 channel 2 to be channel 2 channel 3 to be channel 3 channel 4 to be channel 4 so this is how i am getting channel 1 samples you can see that these are my channel 1 samples this is my channel these are my channel 2 samples so this is my channel 2 samples this is my channel 3 samples and these are my channel 4 samples we all know that if we pass through these channels through a filter then you are going to get you are going to derive the original signal which we have connected here so these are the filter blocks i am getting channel 1 at the output so this is the channel 1 recovered signal which is the same signal at here only the signal is attenuated because of the filter response filter is having some attenuation factor this is channel 2 this is channel 3 and this is channel 4 so basically on this channel 1 2 3 and 4 are derived from demultiplexed sample of channel 1, 2, 3 and 4. So this is how we learn that how we can do time division multiplexing of 4 different channels, how we can send the TDM data from transmitter to a receiver and how we can extract the data from the TDM and we reconstruct the signal same as channel 1, 2, 3 and 4.